Good afternoon, Facebook and Instagram family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Business Strategies and Tips with Lady L. I am your host, Lady L. I appreciate you taking these few moments to join me today. We have been talking about business plans. So we are going to jump right in and we're gonna talk about some of the components of a business plan. When you're establishing a business plan, when you make that first impression, that grant opening, you want to have a executive summary from either your founder or yourself, whoever is the visionary of the company, organization, business, or even ministry. You want to basically say who you are, what your goals and your purpose is, what your vision, mission, and purpose is very, very briefly, and what is your intention for being the business that you are being. And whatever you're calling your business, you will let them know what that is and what you're looking to accomplish, what your um, what statistical information very slightly for your industry that you are aware of and how you are looking to be in that industry and make an impact. Then we're gonna go through the description of your business, the description of your products and services. This is where you get into uh, really great detail. This is like your roadmap, your blueprint. We've talked about vision, mission, and purpose. We talked about gifts, talents, and callings. Now this is where you write it all down and really, really make it plain. Uh, then you want to look at your market analysis because what you want to show uh, people and especially funders that you are aware of the market that you are in, that you are knowledgeable of the market that you are in and you understand the impact that the industry is currently making, what it has made, what it's anticipating to make and how your business stands out and and then at the same time fit in to making those analyses uh, either well preferably better you want to up the numbers in the numbers that need to go up and you need to lower the numbers that need to come down your competition now competition is funny because in this global market this uh, technological market competition has taken on a whole new definition so the the real competition is yourself your services your products and your immediate area first and foremost because that's hopefully where your meat and potato customers are coming from but if you are a national and global company then you are definitely looking at your ideal client, your ideal territories in which you are servicing and providing products to your ideal client. Your marketing and your sales strategies. This is the one part of the business plan that is going to probably change the most frequent because as industries change, as technology change, you have to keep up the pace with your business. So. That's probably gonna be the major part of your business plan that you're gonna be focusing on the most and keeping tabs on it the most. The location of your business. Even though we are technically global, still, if you are a brick and mortar business, it's all about location, location, location. You don't wanna be in a deserted spot when you need to be in a hub where there's a constant flow of people coming in and out. So that's very important to strategically. Now, if you're in a industry where you do need that out of the way space, even that needs to be ideal so that trucking companies can have easy access to you. They're not going into a lot of residential area to get to you. So location, location, location is still important. And even on social media, the platforms you choose, location, location, location. You wanna be the most effective where you're reaching the mass of people that are your ideal clients and customers. Then of course you list your management team, which also will be one area that may change, hopefully not frequent. If you're having high turnovers, we need to talk about some other issues that you're having. But you want people to be clear of who your management team is, who's responsible for bringing this success to the industry that you're in, 
and your personnel. Then there's the financial data portion of your business plan, your sources and applications of funding. And it talks basically, we'll get into more detail about that. Your pro forma income and projections, your actual P&Ls and balance sheets and cash flows, and your projected uh, budgets for the upcoming year. So you're looking at anywhere between a one to five year span of your pro forma income and projections financially. Then of course your supporting documents, the uh, bios and resumes of your management and staff, job descriptions because you want to be clear on everybody's duties so that uh, some may overlap but you don't want them to clash. So that's, a, your business plan gives you that roadmap to make sure that you are evenly distributing the responsibilities and duties so that you have a solid base of uh, people that are supporting you. Uh, you may want to have handy uh, current credit reports uh, for your business, preferably, but if some funding resources ask for your credit reports personal, then you want to include these this informa these informations as, as requested type of information. Letters of references. Even though we are social media and we get a lot of feedback and you get a lot of ratings on your Google, your Yelp, and different things of that nature, you do want some hardcore, long-term and satisfied clients that can either do videos for you, that can do uh, written letters of references. As long as we still have paper, keep using it because it, it hey, written word is a written word, okay? Uh, letters of intent, you know, if there's other funding resources that you're using and you have letters of intent of them providing you uh, re financial resources and any other letters of intent because we still use bartering in business. So you want to look at that, any of your leases for your facilities, any contracts you have, any legal documents and agreements. You just want to keep all of this in a in one place in one document so that at any point in time, if this information needs to be given on an as needed or as requested basis, you don't have to go pulling from 50 million different places. For those of you that have been following me for this past couple of months, y'all know that's a pet peeve. Everything needs a home. Your keys need a home that you, things that you need to put your hands on readily. You need to give them a home or a place that no matter what's going down, you can go to that spot and that information is there, especially your legal documents. When you're talking about uh, your entity information, your EIN and all of your documents that you've done, your business registration, all of, all of these things need to be in a secure place, in a fireproof place so that it can be readily available. Then you have your works cited page for the research that you've done on your market analysis, competition, uh, marketing, sales, and strategies. If there's resources that you use, you want to give credit where credit is due. So that's pretty much the gist overall of the business plan over the next couple of days. We'll break down each section so that we can get a little more detailed of what goes in what specific data goes in each section okay so with that being said thank you so much for joining me today with business strategies and tips with lady l your host here lady l please go to my youtube page lady Vern l-a-d-y-v-e-r-e-v-e-r-n-e -E -E -E, all one word and please uh subscribe like and hit that notification button so that some of the repeats of the previous lessons can come to you automatically I know that at just the right time, the right one will pop up for you in that notifications and it'll be just what you needed to hear for your business. Please share the YouTube channel with other colleagues and, and family and business um, connections that you are connected to so that they can enjoy the information as well. This week I am doing a special on preparing your business plan. My staff is ready and, and eager to assist you in making sure that you are putting together your blueprint, your roadmap to success because success beyond strategies 
building strategies that become successful actions. Bye-bye for now. Have a great day.